Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going over five plugins for Figma to speed up your workflow and help you create some amazing design work. Let's take a look at these amazing Figma plugins. This first plugin is called Color Palettes, and I'm gonna hit run on that. This one's fun to play around with if you're having problems with color or you just wanna change up your design and try something new. Here you can search for a color code or just grab a palette name. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna scroll through this curated list and we'll grab one that looks interesting. So maybe we go with this kind of bluish palette. So we just hit the plus to add that in. And I'm gonna go ahead and close that for now. And then I can start to update my design. I'm just gonna go to selection colors. And first let's update the background fill to this nice gray color. And then maybe we have the call to action as this bright teal. Of course, we'll have to change that text so that it contrasts well. So we'll just flip that to black. Then maybe for this, we go with the background color, but we go a little darker. So we don't have to stick to the exact palette. And then we change the text there for contrast. That needs to be a little darker, I think. And then we can change this pinkish salmon color to maybe this blue instead. And we've got a completely different looking design with a pretty cool color palette. And so that one was color palette. Since this video is all about plugins, today's sponsor has a good one for you. Today's video is sponsored by UX Pin. UX Pin allows you to design and create fully interactive prototypes with the same components that your devs use to build the final product. But wait, what if you like designing in Figma? Well, now you can actually export your Figma designs that you create and import them into UX Pin, allowing you to still take advantage of UX Pin's code based prototyping, which means you can create more advanced prototypes because you're actually rendering code instead of a vector graphic. So if you're interested in checking out UX Pin, make sure you check them out with the link at the top of the description and start creating better, fully interactive prototypes. So of course we have to have Unsplash on the list for free high resolution photos. So I'm just gonna run on that one. And you can see we have these nice tags here we could choose from. So I'm just gonna go with abstract. I'm gonna select the image I want to change and we'll just find a good abstract image in here. Throw in my design, just like that. I got a free high quality image. Of course, with the plugin, you can search and find the specific image you're looking for, as well as under the presets tab, they have this insert random button. So if you're just wireframing and you don't really have a specific image you want, you just want to throw one in and get a good look, you can just insert a random image and it will just generate one from Unsplash and throw it in there. And then finally, there's the editorial section. And I think this is just a featured list of images that are either trending or they just wanted to showcase for the day. So that's Unsplash plugin. At this point in the video, I want to ask you guys what your favorite Figma plugin is. So let me know down in the comments what your favorite Figma plugin is and why. I'm always looking for new plugins, so it'd be great to hear from you guys and see what you're using in your daily workflow. So this one is Stark. This one is really good for making sure your designs are accessible. And so this one is a must have. So if I run this real quick, you can see that I have a bunch of different options to choose from. Some require a pro account, uh, but I can check the contrast, which is a really big one for free. So if I click here on contrast, I can just start to select different things in my design. Of course, that's black on white. So it's gonna hit all the marks here, triple A certified, so we're good to go. So the triple A is like the gold standard that you wanna hit. Double A is like accessible for the majority of online services and digital services. So if you're gonna have anything, make sure at least it's double A that people are gonna be using, but try to get that gold standard if you can. I just swapped this design to a light theme for this video, so I'm not even sure if this red, for example, is a good color to have. So you can see here that on the large text, it is passing, but this is a kind of small text. So for normal text, it's not passing. So I'd want to work on my contrast with this. Also with the free account on Stark, I can use the vision simulator to simulate my design. So right here, I have the call to action button selected. I'm going to go ahead and grab my entire frame here. And this just allows me to change the simulation to these different types of colorblind to make sure that my design is still working and it's accessible. Make sure my call to action buttons are still popping out nicely. Just making my design as accessible as possible. So that's Stark, really good plugin for accessibility. This next one is 3D Transformer. This is a recent discovery of mine. It's pretty fun to play around with. So I'm just gonna click run to load it up. I'm gonna select my iPhone 13 Pro Max and rerun that plugin. You can see I have this nice preview here on the side. 
and I have these different axes that I can change to get the exact orientation that I want. I can change my zoom. I can change the perspective if I want. And when I'm ready, I can just hit insert layer and that generates that in my Figma file, which I have here. So I'm just gonna copy that. We'll go to a landing page and just paste that in there. And we can start playing around with this in our design. And so that's a fun one to play around with. That's 3D Transformer. Lastly, I have one called Ghost that I wanna take a look at. This one's pretty cool because it actually converts the UI elements into the preloader kind of ghosted out elements that you see when you're loading. So when you I think YouTube has it where when it loads, you kind of get that nice gray boxes. So I'm just gonna select these cards here. And so this user is searching in this app. So I want this to have a nice load animation on it. So to begin mocking that up, I can just change it to a linear and go to gray. And I've got this preloader look to it already. And then if I wanted to, I could even prototype that to then load in those images from before. Let's do one more. I'll click my card here. We'll run ghost again. This time we'll go with a solid and we'll go with gray. And you can see what that looks like there. So just that nice preloader look. That's the ghost plugin. So now let's go over some bonus plugins. I was gonna feature five in this video originally, but we've got some time to throw in some more. So this other one is Coolers. And this one is the Coolers website that you can hit spacebar and it generates the different color palettes. So in here you can just click generate and it generates these color palettes. I can also copy these. So I've just copied that color code to my clipboard or I can lock them and then keep generating. And since Coolers is amazing and it generates based off the colors I've locked, I can create some really cool and nice color palettes for my designs with this. I can also sign in to view my library or I can explore the current trending and different palettes as well as search for them over here with the search icon. And you can go through and actually search by color, which I think is nice. So if I'm going for a dark theme, I can actually search with black and find really cool color palettes. And then I just click the three dots and add colors to document and it just throws them in there and I can start using them. And one quick last one here is the Lorem Ipsum plugin. I like to use this one for my designs. It's really nice and easy just to select some text here. I can generate as much as I want, so I can go words, sentences, or paragraphs. So I'll just go words, and I can set it to any number I would like. Let's go with 10, and then begin with Lorem Ipsum, I'm gonna turn that off. And then I'm, of course, I want the plugin to close after I generate, so I'm just gonna click generate. And then I have some Lorem Ipsum here in my design to help me work with my typography. So two bonus plugins there for you guys, and that's gonna do it for today's video. So I hope you guys were able to find some cool plugins that you haven't tried out yet in today's video. Make sure you give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Thanks to UX Pin for sponsoring today's video. If you'd like to check out their design tool, make sure you use the link at the top of the description. Subscribe for more design related videos every single week. In the meantime, check out these related videos, and as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.